equestrian attire today <laughs> because Stuart who's at the yard across from our livery is holding a summer hunt ride with the Four Shires Hunt 10.2 um, miles I helped kind of map out the course the course the route um, they hold the hunt rides in the summer so that they kind of make funds for keeping the hounds because obviously their main source of income is hunting over winter so they need to do something to keep um, the hounds in, in food and home. So today we're going on a little hunt ride with Tizzy. I'm taking Tizzy because she can then do all the gates for the ride as well because um, she's very very good at them and really small and easy to get back on. So we're going to give her a little bit of a clean because she's filthy and then take you along with us on a 42 horse fun ride. <laughs> Morning, Wizzle. Hello, Z. Where's, where's your fly mask? I feel like every day is where your fly mask is. Oh, it's right here. Do you want to take it off? Did the cute boy take it off? Naughty cute boy. You're about to see the difference between donkey, chilled out, lazy tizzy when she thinks she's going to a pony party tizzy I guarantee you she's going to be fuming at not going everywhere fast today <laughs> grumpy mare who's such a mare <laughs> Number two it takes three kettles to wash a pony. Obviously, I put cold water in it as well. Don't put boiling water on my pony. <laughs> squidge it into a ball. Oh my god. I'm sorry all traditional fatting horse people out there don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's just leave this like this. Little, little ode to the endurance rider inside me. He wanted a short top and natural size. Oh, I bet the showing people are crying inside. I'm so sorry. If anyone has tips for doing this better, I don't have one of those little clippers, little ones to do these bits. So I do it with scissors, but it doesn't give the best. A new. I'm trying, okay? I'm putting some effort in, Stuart. This, this is for you. 
Can I borrow my beard trimmer? <laughs> yeah, can I? No. <laughs> I'm sure there are like naff plaiting mousse and sprays if you know what you're doing, but uh, since he's having Elnet satin for that beautiful sheeny hole. And don't worry, I've checked, there are no substances in this that are harmful to horses. I would hope not because they go on humans as well. Stay in, little plat. <laughs> She's like, get off me. Oh, also, a new thing that I have been doing. So my fly rugs, they kind of make, you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see on camera, but like her hairs are a little bit stood up in places and my fly rugs seem to make their coats quite coarse. So what I've been doing every time I put a rug back and put them on the field is spraying with them with this and it makes their coat nice and smooth and silky and the rugs don't seem to like rub and pull the hairs up as much but right now I'm using it to try and get some shine on a grey. Again, if any showing people would like to give me tips of the trade on how to make a horse look beautiful, then uh, please share away. And then we're gonna get, we're gonna borrow Qantas's finishing brush. Give her a little like, buff. <laughs> We've got a nice soft finishing brush. I mean, she's still a bit soggy. Oh yeah, look at that. You can't tell the difference. <laughs> But at least I know I've put the effort in, but I've tried. So shiny. One of the most stressful days of my life was when Tizzy was being presented to the Queen after coming second at the Royal Windsor. And I needed to, I had to be clean, presentable, and she kept pulling down her hocks, shaking out her plaids. So I don't know how showing people do it, it's so stressful. <laughs> There are so many buckles on leather tag. <laughs> so much to do up. Check us out. All leather tack and creamish breeches. Ready to rumble. Should have taken the gunk out your eye, shouldn't we? Oh, gunky eye. We've never all been on a yard hack together before. <laughs> the first time we did it with 42 other yeah. people. Steady. Steady. A little strong. <laughs> A little strong.
have a very sweaty, slightly cross pony who had, as you can see, a few grass snacks on the way. We even popped over a teeny tiny cross ball. <laughs> I think we could teach you to jump. I mean, I've tried before and she literally, she'll go at it and then she'll step one leg at a time, no matter, even if it's up to her tummy, over to do it. She's not a natural jumper. But that was fun, huh? Well, I, I had fun. I don't think you really enjoyed that much, did you? <laughs> but good girl. So thank you to the four shires. I've thoroughly enjoyed our hunt ride. Um, and hopefully I spend a little bit of more time with them this autumn and winter on hound exercise on Stuart's horses.